we arrived in La Paz and we were kind of expecting to get into the harbor and start blaring our horns and telling everybody about our arrival and Merry ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. <laughs> but what we ended up coming into was... Uh, Everyone was gone. Uh, everybody was either gone to the mainland or they had gone to some neighboring bays to celebrate Christmas Eve or yeah, they were on the hard. Scott and Lily launched My Way, which had been out of the water for hurricane season, and even a little bit longer. Robbie helped Scott to install the new rudder. <laughs> it's kind of stressful. <laughs> and the boatyard precariously put My Way back into the water. Friends arrived into La Paz, including Jean, who drove all the way down from San Francisco. The only person with a car, he was wrangled into bringing two boat crews shopping. Why would anybody do such a thing willingly? This is what it looks like to put $600 in groceries in the back of a 1991 Nissan Maxima. You know, with put it on the floorboard, two, three, four, five, six people there. also. There's a medical term for my condition. I have not figured it out yet, but I'm sure it's out there. For supplying so we don't have to be airlifted as many uh, tostada shells or, or <laughs> Lino Tinto. This should go in the back seat. No, one dinghy is already ashore. Very important. The alcohol. You it's got, got it's you got, got a lot of you, yeah. It's got electrolytes. They make they make this what plants crave. When you're on a ship for so many days, you got to secure the alcohol first. Con aquellos carros para allá. Sí, sí, sí. Muchos groceries. 500 pounds of groceries and uh, 1200 pounds of people. Oh, yeah. Good thing this thing's out of warranty. Well, after shopping with the crew of Pacific Eagle, we ended up stealing two of their crew and some groceries. Our friend Ivan was staying aboard. We picked up two more random hitchhikers, and all seven of us started heading to the islands. We rafted up with the folks of the mysterious Washed Up Yacht Club for New Year's Eve celebrations. Ensenada Grande, here at Isla Partida, has some gripping and grippy looking geography but we have yet to try bouldering it. Plenty of our New Year's Eve consisted of Robbie leading a night fishing lesson. We danced on all the boat decks and shot off some expired flares. The next groggy morning, some of us boats paid the price for having anchored in such shallow water. There was a bit of an anchor retrieving dance, and another vessel actually was aground. With our guest crew, we had to make another stop at the Islotes. Visiting the sea lions is never uneventful. When Robbie and I last visited the colony during the summer months, the big males were quite vocal and protective, with the females mostly resting on the rocks. This time, it looked as though the little new sea lions 
were out and about exploring their realm. They were excitable, friendly, and feisty. It was important not to do like this guy and to keep your appendages to yourself. They photobombed every shot they could. This was our first time sailing with other folks on Rosa. We made our way towards Isla San Francisco. Got some proper rail meat for once on Rosa. It was truly nice having the extra movable weight and the extra hands on deck. Scott and Lily motor sailed alongside our boat as we began to slow down from the current. As we approached the island and turned on the engine, no water was coming out from the exhaust pipe. The impeller was changed and water began squirting from the exhaust pipe. However, the engine seemed to be a little more hot than usual. Somewhat worrying. But we did our best to enjoy the anchorage. After three days without refrigeration, all that leftover milk had gone off. Perfect time to make cheese. We simply boil and stir the sour milk for several minutes, strain it over a colander and a piece of clean, fine cloth, then squeeze out the rest of the liquid. Add a little salt, garlic, and pepper. This makes queso fresco, or fromage blanc. It's not technically ricotta, which is made from only whey, but it tastes very similar to it. The demand on space and power was tested to the limit with everyone on board. Luckily, Gabe came prepared with a solar phone charger. We had unknowingly anchored over a bed of garden eels. Our crew member Ivan dove down with the GoPro to capture their gyrations. As I dove down to observe the eels too, one of my top molars began to really bother me. The pain that night was excruciating. Unfortunately, we would have to cut our stay on the island short. I had to go visit a dentist. Had a grand old time at the beach and climbing and doing some, a little bit of um, hiking. 
trying to take it easy getting back to La Paz because the Just engine it. is having trouble. There's oil in the heat exchanger and we don't know where it comes from. So let's logically go through this. What could it be? It could be the seal between the... Between the water pump and the, the, water um, pump and the oil galley. Oil galley or it could be the head gasket. Which you think it is or you yeah, don't think it is? I don't is? think it's a head gasket. Alana was our guest chef on board, preparing some small fried fish and utilizing some of my favorite ingredients that we surprisingly don't often use, avocado and cashews. Just before making our way back into the small channel, entering La Paz, we enjoyed a nutty curry. I'm going to try my best to enjoy some good food for the next little bit. It looks like they're going to be pulling out my top uh, second last molar, most probably. Yeah, enjoying the solid food for now. Help us out by subscribing to this channel, supporting us through Patreon, or leaving a tip through PayPal.